The secrets of Russia's phenomenal success are slowly becoming clearer. Some of the children in the gym are only three years old, and they're already training far more seriously than would be dreamt of in England. Everywhere there's a sense of purpose and seriousness. But there is a price to pay. Some of the coaching is very distressing. The young children are put through painful stretching to increase their flexibility. A girl was stretching, I don't know how old she is, she's like six. Over there she was stretching and um, I think she was crying and telling her coach to stop and he wouldn't. I think if that was in England, I mean, our coach would be locked up by now. The girls have also witnessed the coaches being very hard on young children, shouting at them and even hitting them. It's horrible, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's awful. Actually, it's awful, watching yeah. them like smack their children and everything, smack them around the head. Yeah. But, <laughs> it's not. It's not very really nice. <laughs> but then you see them as like Olympic champions in like three years, so. The end result's really good, but I don't, I, wouldn't, I don't think I'd like to go through all of that. Mikhail, the head of the gym, defends their methods. We have to admit that there are sometimes tears in our training sessions, but those tears are not for nothing. They're justified as the coaching brings such good results. Yeah, just get them results, but I think that they should be strict, but not like smacking the children how they have been doing.